A few weeks ago, my good friend Joel Yi, who's Dan Locke's former sales manager, showed us how he's using what he calls sales farming, a method that leverages AI and automations to send personalized outreach messages to all of those leads in your CRM or pipeline who went cold or went ghost and get them back onto your calendar and ultimately to convert into a new client for your business this month. If you watch the video all the way till the end, you'll learn exactly how it works and how you can install sales farming into your business immediately. Enjoy. Welcome to another Admin Mastermind training call. Today, we have a very special guest who you guys are already getting to know, Joel Yi, a good friend of mine who I met in Jeremy Haynes' Inner Circle Mastermind. But the funny part is I actually saw Joel for the very first time I would say three years ago or so, back when I was still working full-time for Dean Graziosi, and Joel was actually working for Dan Locke as his sales manager. That's the first time I saw Joel. We didn't know each other back then, but crazy how the universe works. A few years later, he's running his business. We're running our business, and naturally, there is opportunity for us to help clients together. We're actually working together with Brandon Carter, AKA King Keto. He's helping the sales team, managing the sales team, clean up all those leads that we're driving with YouTube, Google, and TikTok ads. And uh, I thought what better way to introduce him to you than let him share how he helps our clients and his clients add an extra 20, 30, 40, 50, up to $100,000 a month and beyond using what he calls sales farming. So I already had a little bit of the secret sauce shown to me at the last uh, Jeremy Haynes mastermind, but I wanted to share it with you guys. So without further ado, Joel, the stage is yours, my friend, take it away and let's go. Thank you so much, Brian. All right. Who is pumped? Show of hands in the chat, me, because right. I'm going to actually break down exactly what we've done for Brandon Carter. I'm going to give you guys all the templates, exactly how it worked so that you can install it right away today and get results this coming week, okay? So the goal here is for you to walk away with exactly what to do and how. If that's great, give me that thumbs up. Put it in the chat. Let's go. All right, cool. So here is my screen. If y'all can see it, I'm going to put your beautiful faces on my left monitor. I got like four monitors up today. You know, just, just got to do it, man. 2023, you know, let's go. <laughs> All right, y'all see my screen? Yes? Beautiful. Okay, let's do this. So we're going to talk about how you can turn your dead leads into a new stream of profits using sales farming. Okay, I want you to focus on the word profits. I'm going to touch on this in a quick second. Eh? Okay, this is a proven strategy used by top companies in Silicon Valley. So Fortune 100, Fortune 500, Amazon, Microsoft, Nike, Adidas, all of these big companies deploy or employ sales farming. Okay, so let's get to it. Um, anybody a big fan of OpenAI, ChatGPT? Yeah, show hands. All right, I got this image from Dolly. I paid a lot of money for credits. You know, I love it. This is what's going to happen in your business, in your client's business, when you install sales farming. Cool? All right, here we go. If you want to learn the hidden way to potentially add an extra 10 to 40% of profit for every ad dollar you spend, type me in the chat. Type me in the chat. Let's go. Let's see the chat blow up. Okay. And profits, because look, revenue doesn't pay the bills. I think we all know that, right? We can get a bunch of top line and that's cool. But what really matters at the end of the day is profit. So like, you know, Brian alluded earlier with Brandon Carter, you know, he spent over $2 million on ads in the past couple of years, but that's cool. Right. And he made, I don't know, five, 10 million as well in revenue, but we make more profit because we reactivate, we farm dead leads that he already has. Okay. So if you're netting, say 100K a month, you know, how would you like to make an extra 10 to 40K every month after that, right? By setting up what I show you one time, just one time. Now, this is bottom line, like I said, because leads you've already paid for, you spent money on, you acquired them. Let's not what I call allow a leaky bucket to flow out, right? You're putting money in and then water just leaks out. We don't want that. Let's turn those leads into profits, okay? doesn't matter how old they are. You'll see in a second, six months, one year, two years, even five-year-old dead leads, we can turn back into profits. Does that sound good? Yeah? Sounds good? Cool. Okay, 
if you set this up one time, like I said, you and your clients will benefit from this from life. So before we begin, make sure you got that pen, that paper, maybe that laptop, the iPad, I don't know. Just get that because you want to take down a bunch of stuff. Obviously, you get the recording and the presentation slides, but I'm going to share a lot of bonuses that might not be in here as well, just to make sure you're paying attention and not on Facebook. <laughs> okay, here we go. So who am I? Thank you, uh, Brian, for the introduction. My name is Joey. I've created this sales farming system. In fact, if you go on Google and you type in sales farming, you're going to see my, my name rank for sales farming very quickly because no one has really coined this term yet. So I can proudly say I coined the term right in the space, which is pretty cool. Um, so I'm going to share this with you today. For the past five years, I've led sales teams as large as 110 sales professionals. Like Brian said, again, I was the head of sales at Dan Locke. So this is me. This was Dan's team, half of the team, like 40, 50 of us back in 2019, I want to say in Vancouver. Um, I was the sales director and this was my entire team. We had 10 sales leaders, four sales managers. I mean, it was great, right? We generated over 40 mil in coaching info sales in a single year. So great team, a lot of experience with management. Um, you know, to date, I left Dan's company a year ago. We've generated over $65 million in coaching, consulting uh, the space. And I, I basically spent my time turning worse, sort of like bad performing sales teams into really high performing sales teams. So that was kind of what I did before this, right? And just like a quick, you know, quick, I guess, numbers, like we would always get clients to 80% show up rates, 40% conversion rates on paid traffic and like 80% conversion rates on organic traffic. So we did that through sales training and sales consulting and sales process optimization. So that was what like I did leading up to this point. Then here's what I realized. Um, after investing over 200 grand, right, from sales trainers and entrepreneurs, I noticed something interesting. It's cool to be able to train sales teams and help them get better. But you know what's even better? It's literally the fact that they got so much. Like every client I worked with, they had a big list. And even with Dan, like back then, you know what we were doing? We had the sales team like manually calling every single lead emailing and texting, right? And like sending like DMs on Instagram and Facebook. And I thought to myself, man, if there was a way we could automate this process, plug in AI, how much better would that be? And that's kind of why after working with these people, so like, you know, I learned from Jeremy Miner, NEPQ, right? Jordan Stupar, who was the Jeremy Haynes mastermind. He was Grant Cardone's top sales guy back in the day. Um, you all know Eli Wild probably. Right, Tony Robbins, top sales guy, did over nine figures for uh, Tony. I learned from them and I realized there's something missing here. There's something missing. And that is the fact that no one is really turning those dead leads into profits. Okay. So some of my clients today, Rudy Moore, right? I learned a lot from Russell. I mean, it's in the circle. Uh, obviously, the man, Mr. Alex Samozzi. Um, this book right here, oops, this book right here is actually Alex's signature, his autograph. Uh, he told me a couple of days ago, this is still one of the only five autograph books in the world, five or six. So I got a pretty rare copy here with the, you know, with the Hermosis, right? Um, and then these are the clients that I've trained sales teams for and run farming campaigns for. So Ryan Pineda, we just signed on Peng Jun last week in Malaysia. This picture was taken in Malaysia like a week ago, exactly a week ago. And obviously King Keto, Brandon Carter, who Brian and I work on. Um, this was me with Dan. We generated multiple seven figures for Dan with sales farming and uh, Mike Sancho of Wealth Accelerators, who was one of the first trucking automation businesses that did two, three mil a month very quickly. So really amazing guys. And yeah, like profits, guys, profits. Okay. So enough about me. I mean, I'm a veteran U.S. Army officer, right? But like enough, <laughs> enough about me. I want you to get responses after today, just like this. Okay. Even if. Your list is just a few hundred or a few thousand leads. I want you to get these kind of responses. So let me show you real-time case study, okay? So King Keto, Brandon Carter, Brian and I, we help him make, you know, Brian, I don't know where you know this, but in the past two months, December and January, Brandon literally made the most money in his business like ever, like the best months ever. So huge kudos to Brian, but like we're crushing it with Brandon, okay? And 
I'm super proud to let you guys know, like, look, with these 6,000 leads, check this out. Who has 6,000 leads today? At least, right? Even you at least have like 6,000, right? Your clients have 6,000 leads, right? That's not a lot, okay? If I show you how much money we made from 6K, would you agree that this strategy is worth implementing today? Yes or no, right? If I show you that we make a lot of profits from this, would you implement this today? All right, cool. So check this out. This is a very simple farming workflow. In fact, this is one of the most simplest ones that I'm gonna break down for you all today. You're gonna to get a chance to experience this in a demo. You're gonna experience what it's like to be a prospect going through farming, okay? But let me just show you the results first. And then in the next couple of slides, I'll break down how you can set this up. It's basically emails, text, and what you don't see here is voicemail drops. There's also voicemail drops too, okay? And I'll show you the templates and why this is so powerful in a second. You're gonna get responses like this. Brian, this is not Brian Moncada, this is Brian, one of Brandon Carter's top closers. We're literally getting prospects, dead leads. They're saying, more info, please. I'm interested, I'm interested. Thank you, call, inbound call, right? Next slide or next page. More, I'm interested. How does this work? Yeah, man, very interested. Why? Because we made a personal, personalized text message and I sent a case study in a two text sequence, two texts, right? A double text. So people really think that it's personal and you can see the responses. Look, emails. Hey, Brian, I see your email. What's up? What's new with the program? Thanks for the text. Inbound call, right? This lead is so excited. He's calling in because he wants to learn more about Brandon's high ticket trainer. And I find this the funniest one. So this guy responded at 2 p.m., 2.30 p.m. I replied, man, I'm free today. Three hours later, because the closer had no time to call him, he tried to call the closer. Can you imagine, friends, a dead lead trying to call you up and ask you, like beg you to talk, right? Yeah, we'll cover the software, but long story short, this is go high level, and I'll show you exactly what it, what it is, how you can set it up, right? But yeah, like just imagine, right? The fact that people are excited to talk to you, okay? So long story short, here are the results. This actually number has gone up to about 330K, 340K, Brian, just so you know. Uh, we just closed an 8K deal yesterday, farming. 8K, right? From dead lead, from, from AI bot to setter to closer, 8K close, okay? So we basically made, with the 6,000 to 9,000 leads, $304,000 profit, friends, because Brandon spent money on these leads years ago, right? And guess what? We still have over 20 to 30,000 leads that we're going to farm in 2023. That means there's at least a million dollars left, at least a mil left in profits. Okay. So, like I said, this works. I'm going to show you exactly how you can set it up right now. Now, before actually, before you set it up and we talk about the, the nitty gritty and all the technical stuff and all the automations and personalization, I want you to experience farming for yourself. So, Kindly indulge me in a little game, okay? Everybody, if you want to participate, text your email address, your email, okay? Make sure you, okay, don't mess this up. I have people that mess up two simple steps. Just follow my directions. Get your phone out, yeah, any phone that works. Type in the numbers 575-256-3594, okay? Then you plug in your email. Don't do anything else. Don't make any typos. Type in your email. It's going to hit because I'm going to send you an email, a text, and a voicemail drop, okay? So text. Then when you're done, type done in the chat. Don't do anything else, okay? Type done in the chat when you send the email. All right, Sanjay, uh, Danielle, it's 575-256-3594. Okay, it's on the slides. Okay. Now, when you're all done with this, okay, I want you to type two words. It's not case sensitive. Don't um, make any typos. Send farming demo. Just send farming demo. Your phone's about to blow up, okay? And this is not my sales team. This is literally automation, right? And you can see some AI as well, but just send that and just take a look at your phone and your email inbox. So I'm going to be quiet. I want you all to experience a few things, okay? Just do it. And watch, your, watch, watch the magic on your phone right now. Um, you might get a call, but that's not a call. That's a voicemail drop. 
and you can play that on speakerphone. Oh, Sanjay's like, what, WTF? You see the text messages come in, you go to your inbox, right? But, but here's the thing, but here's the thing, I don't want you to focus on, because you might be thinking, like, yo, I mean, this is just like some texts and voicemails and emails. I mean, what's, what's so special about this? Okay, check this out. I want you to read the text. I want you to read those messages. Those are not regular email marketing messages. These are personalized, customized content, double text, right? Screenshots, proof, voicemail that makes it so personal, you can help but to respond to it, right? I'm gonna show this to you guys. Look, you're subscribed to Dan Locke, Russell Brunson, Grant Cardone, right? Frank Kern's email list. Grant Cardone emails me like two, three times a day. So does Frank Kern. Do I really think that Mr. Grant Cardone is sitting in his office writing me three emails a day? Hell no, right? Heck no. I know it's a marketing email. Your prospects do too. So it's not personal. Like if he wants to sell his 10X conference seats, hey, right, Joel, buy, you know, get your seat before it runs out. I'm like, I know, Grant, like you're just sending me a mass email that you send to like millions of people. But you know what's cool though? It's when somebody drops a voicemail on your phone saying, yo, Brian, this is Joel from Grant's office. Uncle G just left me a note, told me to give you a special seat for 10X. Check your email. I dropped a seat map in your e email inbox, right? You know what I'm saying? Like, which one would you respond to more? The generic marketing email or farming? Type in the chat. Which one gives you personalization, right? Which one gives you more excitement as a prospect to talk to? Exactly, right? So we know this is so key. So that's how it works, okay? Now we're going to go into how to set it up. And here's a big bonus. People just think that this can be done only for dead leads? Wrong, wrong. One thing I don't talk about much, which is crazy, I know. You can actually run this for new leads coming in because imagine you set up voicemail drops for all your clients' live events, webinars, and book sales calls. Guess how much your show up rate will increase, friends? Can you imagine getting a voicemail? Hey, we're starting tomorrow, a three-day live challenge. I can't wait to see you there. You're going to be there, right? Text me back. And it's super personal and it's super customized. Can you imagine your show up rates? Okay, so this is powerful, friends. I want you to implement this, okay? So here's how we do it. Now, before we get into implementation, let's understand some myths and frequently asked questions, right? And, and I guess objections, because I know in your mind, some people are thinking these questions. Number one, so Joel, I don't get the difference between sales farming and like a follow-up. Like if my sales team is following up with leads, what's the difference? Anybody have that question? Because I, I get the question a lot. Okay, let me explain the difference to y'all. Sales farming, right? Like follow-ups. These are typical sales activities when in typical sales cycles. Meaning, let's say you're selling an info product, right? Or coaching. Let's say you're selling a weight loss program, coaching. Maybe your typical sales cycle is 30 days, right? Example, right? Less than 30 days, okay? That's your typical sales cycle. So most sales fall under less than 30 days. So you will follow up, your sales team will follow up to get the deal closed. Now, I define farming as any activity past the typical sales cycle. So once it's past 30 days, for example, then it's farming because it might take them three months, six months, a year, five years to close. You're not going to, trust me, no sales professional in the world will follow up for five years. I guarantee it. I've managed over hundreds of sales professionals. I've done over a thousand coaching calls for salespeople. They're not going to follow up for five years. But guess what's going to follow up for five years? Farming. Farming will. And farming will work forever once you set it up once. Okay? That's why, so, that's why it's so powerful. Second myth. Hey, but Joel, um... This is not that cool because, I mean, it's just email marketing. Like, I can just get a copywriter, write good copy, and just send out every day. What's the, like, what's the difference? I mean, I think you've already experienced the difference through the demo, right? You see the difference. But in case you're wondering, we are sending out personalized emails, text messages, voicemail drops, and even, even for some of our clients, we automate the uh, Instagram and Facebook DM or WhatsApp social media DMs all at one time. Email marketing can't do that. Active campaign can't do this. 
right? Active campaign can't do this at all because you just, you just can't, you can't automate this, right? Email marketing, here's the issue. We had the biggest issue at Dan's company as well, because guess what? If you send out daily emails every day and you don't segment and you don't clean your list, your email deliverability is going to crash. You're going to go from 20% open rates to like 5% and all your emails will start going to spam and promotion. I've seen tens and hundreds of companies that have this issue. Like, because like they got copywriters, but guess what? A copywriter is not an email deliverability, deliverability specialist. That's a very different skill set. And so what happens is a lot of companies, they like to send daily emails and they don't clean their list and it hurts think everything in general. And then in the future, they have to get rid of their main domain, right? Your main company domain. And that's a big problem because do you know, fun fact, once you destroy your email reputation, there's a point where there's no return. You know what I'm talking about? There's a point where your domain cannot be saved. And that's horrible because you as a company have to switch to a completely new domain because you're just basically blasting too many emails, right? So there's a big difference between farming and email marketing. Cool. Now, we typically build out 30-day farming campaigns, all customized content, email, text, and voicemail drops for our clients. I'm going to show you how you can build a five-day example flow. This is Teresa Todd. She just finished her event without fear of her future. She's a $40 million a year business. She's one of our clients. So I'm going to show you our flow for Teresa. You excited? Thumbs up. Excited in the chat? I'm going to show you all right now how to build it. All right, cool. So. Um, Brandon Carter's flow was a lot simpler, right? You did, I, I showed you one flow. In this case, you just really need two. One is either your main sort of workflow. And the second one is your lead nurturing to book a call flow, right? And I'll show you the differences and why we have two, okay? But really the main one is this top one. So first thing you want to do is basically, I'm going to explain a few things. The reason why we have round robin here is because teresa has got a bunch of sales professionals. So we round robin the the leads to different salespeople. You don't need this, by the way, if you don't want to run Rob in it, right? You could. Day one, just read this template really quick. Hey, right? This is Ashley. I want to highlight a few things. I'm going to bring up my annotation tool. This is not a real person. This is a inside sales rep or a setter. You guys might call it a setter from the company that doesn't exist. However, however, it makes prospects feel like this is a very personalized human being. We actually have a lady on our team record her voice or we hire voice actresses to record their voice so we can get this effect of personalization. Okay, make sense? Now, we're always writing very direct response type copy and I'll show you a lot of different templates today, but just take a look at the templates, okay? And look at the setup. This software is called Go High Level. Okay, GHL is 97 bucks a month. I mean, it's super, super cost effective, right? Like most clients, they can all afford it. Long story short, okay? Um, and also, by the way, if you got questions, because I'm getting into the really technical part, if you got questions, please put them in the chat. We'll do a, like a larger Q&A at the end, but just put them in a the chat and I'll go over them, okay? Okay, so you can kind of see the email, right? We're testing a new scholarship program. It's just like to qualify, and I'll show you the templates, but it's very, very personal. And you do day, you do text, you do email, you wait for a reply. Basically, if they don't reply, right? I'm going to show you guys the um, this site later on. But if they don't reply, it goes to day two. Super simple. It's not that complicated, right? Um, day two is like, hey, why do you want to get into real estate investing? Well, here's some useful ways you can hit your goal. So this is a bit more like adding value, but it's always a CTA at the end. Okay? It's always like, are you interested? You want to learn more. You want to book a call. Email three, same thing. This one is different. This is a case study. This is Victoria. She's got a testimonial. Uh, we love to embed images and embed videos in the email too. It works really, really well. Okay. And just different stuff, right? And now I want to show you a different thing. This is powerful. Friends, send from iPhone. Amazingly powerful because it just is so personal. I think some of y'all know this already, but you know, not many people use this enough, okay? And the other thing too, that's not shown here, is you can do typos. So for example, I can mess up the spelling of voicemail, right? And then I could send a second text and go, oops, voicemail, asterisk. 
So it looks like a real human being is texting, right? Are you, are you getting what I'm putting down? Yes, in the chat. Did I lose anybody? Is it making sense so far? Yeah, no? I, I'm, I'm looking at your faces, but I'm not sure if you're confused or <laughs> you know what's going on. Okay, and um, good. And I'll show you the voicemail. This voicemail, um, let me let me actually play. I'm gonna play the audio really quick. Let me know if you hear it. I think you all got the. If you did the demo, then you will know exactly um what this sounds like. But here it is. Play it for y'all right now. I think it's this one. Yeah. Hey, this is Ashley from Teresa Todd's company. She told me to get in touch with you because we noticed you didn't go ahead and book a call to talk about our real estate investing mentorship program yet. Was there any particular reason why? Right. Again, like you just can't beat that. Right. Email marketing just cannot beat that. Think about it. Like you can't personalization automation. Right. So that's why it's so powerful. I hope you all heard that. And you all got the demo, too. So cool. All right. Um, lastly, we can also do things like podcast interviews, right? Like this. And then we ask them very direct questions like, do you agree with Amy or not? So Amy is like a lady that raised 16 million dollars. Right. Podcast. You just ask questions, you know, so for clients, for yourself, you just want to farm your leads by making it very cool. And I'll show you the templates right now. OK. All right. Um, actually, before we go to templates, I'm going to talk about what happens when somebody replies. What happens when they reply and they're interested? Where do we go next? So next, you want to take a look at the yes, which is we're going to add them to this new workflow, which I showed you in the beginning which basically is the new workflow, right? Which is why we get them to book a call, okay? And this is where the AI bot comes in. So take a look. We have this AI bot on the second workflow up here. This AI bot does a few things. It checks the calendar of, um, what do you call it? Of the closers, the sales team, and it actually books a call, okay? This book a call is super like badass, right? It books a call. Um, I'm actually going to, do something that I've not shown anybody before. I'm gonna show you how this bot literally booked a call for us last night. Um, so you all know the Hydra strategy? I don't know whether, Brian, do you, do you ever teach these guys the Hydra? Do you all know what the Hydra is? Not yet, no, it's basically- oh, Okay, no, so long story short, Hydra is a Facebook lead form, right? And a Facebook lead form, it's a Facebook ad, it's a lead form. Um, we started running this literally yesterday, we went live. I'll show you, we had one Hydra lead, literally turned from a lead to a book call, got on a sales call within like a few hours. Um, and it's through the AI bot. So I'm going to show you uh, when I ref when this thing decides to refresh for me, my, uh, my screen. Um, let's see. All right. I just wanted to show you a quick convo. Yeah, go high level. Maybe because I'm sharing my Zoom screen, it's being a bit slow. You know what? I'll come back to this at the end. That way we don't waste time and I'll show you what the AI bot is actually doing. Um, but back to the presentation, right? It's gonna book a call. And as they don't book a call, you basically set up follow-ups just to make sure that, you know, they're gonna book eventually, right? You just follow up and make sure they book a call, okay? All right, and I want somebody to remind me, oh, there we go, yay. All right, sweet, take a look. So this is our CRM. It's called the Scale Team CRM. We built this off of Go High Level. We added a bunch of like features um, as well as templates to make this amazing. So we just started running Hydra yesterday. Literally, we spent like a hundred bucks. So Hydra, Hydra, Hydra. All right, check this out, right? All right, this lead just came in 25 minutes ago. Let's take a look at her. Okay, you see this? You see this Chris that has um, AI booking, right? This was actually booked by AI. My sales team was like calling other people. They were sleeping. They didn't have to do anything. So check, check out how powerful this is. Okay, look. This literally happened yesterday, March 1st. So what happens? Look, lead comes in from Facebook. This is a freaking AI bot. You see this? Do you want to book a call with me? First name. Here are some dates. Right? Here are some times for today. Book, boom, boom, automation, pre call reminder, pre call workflow, YouTube video. This, okay, now this was not bought, by the way. This was, uh, we could actually automate it, but my sales team created a personal video. And the prospect's like, oh my God, is that an AI video? Is it real? Right? So this is real, real human text, right? But we had the call, and basically, Chris is going to talk to his wife 
yesterday and today he should be closing as a client. But literally, I'm showing you in action, we eat what we cook, we practice what we preach, and we book calls with AI. You know what I'm saying? Right? And like this one, Jocelyn, she just came in, she came in uh, and, or 30, or when we started 20 minutes ago, the AI already sent a text. This isn't my team. This is AI, okay? So I think I'm beating the dead horse, but you all get what I'm saying now. Um, going back to the presentation. So with these flows, we can get results like this, right? Remantas, he worked with us in December, like two months ago. Um, you see how many calls we booked? 130 bookings. Just so you know, he has never gotten more than like 10 calls in a month. He has a 38,000 email list. We booked 130 book calls. And here's the thing, because I, I, know, I know the other objection, right? Hey, my list has no phone numbers. Oh, my clients, they got no phone numbers. Hey, that's still BS. This guy was all emails. We booked 130 book calls, y'all, emails only. And guess what? If they only got emails, you can run ethical bribes to turn the emails into phone numbers. Yo, here's a free exclusive mini course. Give me a phone number. I'm going to text it to you. Bam, we got 20% more phone numbers, right? He closed 18K. 18K, cash collected, man, profit, right? It's not a lot. I mean, he's not the best closer. He's a tech founder, right? He runs a, a software bot for Forex, but I mean, still, like, it's good. It's free money for him, pretty much. All right. Um, I'm going to give you all three, uh, three secrets. Three secrets to implement in your farming system. Number one, you need to combine sales and marketing efforts, okay? So I'm not going to, like, beat the dead horse, but you have personalized emails, personalized text messages, voicemail drops, and also outbound sales calls, right, from your team, right? For example, if, you know, we get, like, an, uh, have any, has anyone ever tried buying something from the Cardone shop? Or like open a grand card on email? Anybody? You know you get a phone call from his team like right away, right? Or like in five minutes, right? And you know they call you for days and weeks. Like even today, I still get calls from Grant Cardone's office. Yeah, <laughs> Brian, Brian knows what's up. But you know why this is so powerful? It's because they actually have marketing. They have sequences that allow sales and marketing to both talk together. The biggest issue in the coaching industry today is that sales and marketing are super disconnected. They're siloed. They're like enemies, man. It's like, imagine if Brian and I, we work with Brandon, and you know what Brian says? Yo, Joe, your sales team sucks. You guys can't close, right? Like pointing fingers. And I go, no, Brian, your leads suck. YouTube leads are the worst, right? We like Facebook, right? That, you know, a lot of companies do that. You might laugh, but I literally know so many marketers and sales directors that talk like that. Right. So you can't like you have to combine them because this is a combined effort called marketing. OK, so the more you combine efforts, the more sales you'll make in general. Um, now, Grant Cardone is very sophisticated, right? He's got a strong outbound team. But even if you don't have outbound teams, like I call them like fat cat closers, unfortunately, <laughs> even if you got fat cat closers that are inbound only, you can still at least set up personalized messages to get them to book a call. So at the very least, even if you don't have outbound, sales team, you can still set your, your inbound closes up. Okay. All right. Big thing. There are segments that we farm. I'm going to give you basic lead scoring right now. So here's how you get the more, um, the most likely to least likely to work with you. Okay. Number one, you want to segment people from segment the first list, which is people that bought from you before. So customers, clients, but have not bought recently. So for example, last purchase one year ago, six months ago, this is the best one, okay? So make sure you're all writing notes or taking screenshots. So top, we do the basic lead scoring. This is the first one. Second one, the, the most active super fans. They love your content. They comment, they like, they reply to emails, right? These are the most active. Third will be obviously very obvious, people that book a call, but either didn't show up or didn't close, right? So leads that wanted to book a call, but never closed. People who replied well to the email, like, I'm interested. Yes, I'm in, but they never booked a call or texted positively, right? Email, reply, or text, right? Um, then obviously you have people that click on emails that didn't book, and then people that open emails that didn't book, okay? So this is very basic lead scoring, and if you take anything away from today, at least go back and segment your list and segment your client's leads. You don't want to get email deliverability issues. You don't want to mess that up. That's a big, big issue. So this will prevent that from happening as well. Cool? All right. Second secret, 
if you're doing like who's doing six um, figures a month in sales right now, like at least 100K for the clients that your clients are at least doing 100K a mil, right? Six to seven figures. Yeah. Okay, good. You probably have thousands, if not a few thousand new leads in your database every month. New, right? New. But here's the biggest problem. Your sales team are not going to call everybody, especially not your dead leads, not even your new leads. They, they can't. There's just too much volume. So remember the leaky bucket, right? If no one talks to them, then you're wasting all your money and ad spend. And if the problem is if you use robots, like bots, right? It's too robotic. If you use many chat, it's too robotic, right? You're going to leave a lot of money on the table. So when you combine with the demo, I show you automation and personalization, you're going to get the best results. So this works really well on HubSpot. If anyone uses HubSpot, you can run this as well. Um, maybe take a photo of the open AI and HubSpot CRM on producthunt.com. You can install this and then use chat GPT in HubSpot workflows. So HubSpot can run this system as well. But by far, my favorite is Go High Level. Because what we use to Go High Level is the cheapest one. We own our own CRM. Um, you can create your own AI bots and add all the personalization. And we find that this is really good for starting thousands of one-on-one -on -one personal conversations with leads, right? And then what we do is we add in our setters, our DM setters, so that way when they stop talking or the bot breaks for whatever reason, we can have the setter go in there and continue to, to conversate, continue to um, talk to leads, right? So we add DM setters too, okay? Um, and lastly, oh, not lastly, but copy these scripts in conversation. So take a screenshot of this today. These are the best performing scripts. <laughs> Lloyd's head exploded. Hey, we're not, we're not over yet, Lloyd. Your head's going to explode a few more times because now we're going to copy. Okay. So this copy is going to, going to work really well. Um, it's basically the guru told me to do it script. When I was at Dan's office, you know, what was the best outbound sales call? Check this out. Hey, um, is this Nick? Yeah, Nick, um, you don't know me. My name is Joel and I'm with uh, Dan Locke. You know what? I got a note on my desk, Nick. Dan told me to give you a call because apparently you're one of the lucky winners of our uh, one of our, you know, mini courses. Um, you know, would you like that? And obviously Nick's going to go, yeah. I go, oh, yeah no, before I give that to you, I mean, um, we don't know exactly what you do and what you are. And I've got a bunch of gifts here. I need to know what industry you're in. Can you tell me a little bit about you so I can give you the, the right gift? Bam, you know, that like that line, that, that call, like this script, gang, I just, I can't even say words, it's just crushed. <laughs> so new program presentation, I'm gonna update from Dan to let you know about something new. We're testing a new whatever program, right? Yeah, you can just take a screenshot and this email will crush, okay? Uh, Guru told me to do a script. Text message, hey, this is Joel. Dan told me to check in with you. I just sent you an important email. Can you please reply back to the email? Now let's do a pop quiz. Can anybody tell me why I send prospects back to the email? This is a this is a great question, actually. It can click text in the SMS. Uh, what was that? It can click. You don't have enough space in the SMS to send all the information. Almost there. Yeah. Okay. Almost there. Almost there. Yeah. Deliverability is one of them. But here's the biggest thing: we found through a lot of testing with a lot of clients and thousands and thousands of leads, probably millions of leads, that prospects get freaking confused when you hit them up in multiple platforms. When you email, text, voicemail, DM them on social media, they literally don't know where to respond. So you should redirect them to what is the most common form of communication, which is usually email, because everyone has an email, right? I know text is good too, but just in case like, you know, you get confused prospects, you want to send them to one platform. Right. And it helps deliverability. So that's like great. Yeah. Hope that that's like a little bonus tip that I want to throw in there that many people don't think about. Okay. Um, anybody knows Dean Jackson? Very famous for the nine word email. Right. Joel, are you still looking to buy a house in Ohio? You know what I'm saying? This is like so simple, but it works dramatically. I'm going to show you proof of this working later on. Right. With a subject line. Hey, Brian, are you still interested in, you know, this? course or this program, right? Get me back, you know, get back to me, right? Like that's a very simple Dean Jackson script. Um, take a screenshot of the beta test script. So this is great for saying we get this new program specifically for X. 
small number of spots. We haven't told anybody about this. Do you want me to send you the details? Because what? Because we looked at your profile in our CRM, in our database, right? John or Navy or Jerry or Sanjay. And I thought you might want to know before anyone else. Again, this is personalized. It's not a generic email that goes, new program launching, right? You join my wait list. That's like a mass email that's sent to everybody. Come on now. Just change it up a little bit. Make it more personalized. It's not that hard, honestly. <laughs> it's, just, it's just more direct response, right? Um, and actually, before I forget, you don't want to fatigue your audience by spamming them, right? Nonstop with direct response messages. Um, but here's what you got to do. So imagine this. I don't know whether Brian is admin. Admin is like a mastermind, right? The group here. Yeah, you yeah. all mastermind. Awesome. So imagine you all first join admin. Okay. Like today is what? Thursday. It's Thursday night. Okay. You join admin. And then like at 6 p.m. later today, right? Imagine Nick. He's like the community leader, right? Let's say he's a community leader. He, he texts you saying, hey, how was your week? Are there any bottlenecks in your business that you're facing right now that we can help you with? How do you feel that first time you got that message? Probably pretty good. Oh my God, I just joined and like they texted me to ask me how I'm doing. Awesome. Now imagine next week, right? Thursday night, 6 p.m. You get the same exact text message. Hey, how was your week? What, what bottlenecks are you facing in your business that we can help you with? How do you feel this time? Well, not so excited, right? Because you got it last week. And then imagine next, the, the next week, the third week, you got the same exact message. That's not good. Because at this point, you're probably going to just ignore the message and know that Nick just automated stuff to you. He just sent you a bunch of automations. You probably feel kind of annoyed that, you know, you join this mastermind and like they treat you like a little, um, like a, like a, what do you call it? Like just a, just a number, right? So you don't want to do that. So we have to mix up new offers and new content. So like same thing with sales farming. If you want to get the most new bookings and new sales from dead leads, you have to keep things fresh, right? You have to keep things fresh, okay? Um, if you've done a lot of testing in email marketing, you also know that like most current events, new offer promotions, they, they hit really hard. In sales and marketing, you all know this, right? In sales and marketing, I want to reiterate, new is very important. Newer, faster, better, new, right? Think about it, Apple. Why does Apple come up with a new iPhone every year? Look at my, like my iPhone, right? 14 Pro Max, why do they do this? It's literally like the same as the iPhone 13 Pro Max, I, I suppose, right? It's not much different. Um, look at cars, BMW, Mercedes. Why do they come up with 2023, 2024, freaking, you know, um, uh, X5, GLE, GLC? It's the same car as 2022 because people want new. Because people want new. So when you set up your farming campaigns, don't forget to update them and get new stuff. If this makes sense to you, type in good in the chat, please. Good in the chat. If it's making sense, right? With new. Good. Now, who wants our 12-month calendar for farming hooks and topics? <laughs> this one is pretty, this one's pretty valuable. Because I'm gonna give you a lot of good ideas with this one. Anybody? Thumbs up? Yep. So January, my favorite thing to do is start of the new year, right? Start of the new year. 2022 is gone. We got 2023. So like in the email subject line is something like, for example, a good hook would be it's 2023. What are you doing differently this year? Question mark. Right? Like when in the in the copy, in the text and the email and the voicemail, it's like, yo, leave 2022 behind. Let's get better results now. Right? Forget about New Year's resolutions. Let's do something now. Let's stop wasting time, right? So your, your messaging around January can be focused on that. If you're e-com, if you're like, you know, doing promotions, you can do Valentine's Day for February. I look at like public holidays and like big events in the year, and you can tailor it to whatever country you're in. You could put your birthday here, for example, right? Like you could put whatever. I'm going to show you all pain, desire, education scripts and results after this. So I'll, I'll leave this for now. Just imagine, just, but just, this is the most common one. You can run pain, desire, education type content. And I'll show you some examples. And you can run this a lot during the month, okay? My favorite in April, tax refunds. Oh, man. This is godly. Yo, you just got your tax refund from Uncle Sam. Don't waste it on dumb stuff. Invest in your knowledge. Invest in education. Invest in training. I know you got cash this month, man. 
right? Like literally a voicemail drop. Yo, I know you probably got your tax refund. <laughs> Amazing. It, it, this, thing, this thing pops in April, I'm telling you. Um, May is my birthday. So I do like a birthday promo, for example. You could do like, you could put birthday anywhere your birthday is or your client's birthday is. Summer promo again, like more like, you know, e-com style campaigns, right? But you can literally run pain, desire, education content. I like to do like case study month, maybe once or twice in the year. Imagine how powerful this is. You got like 15 to 30 days of nonstop success stories and testimonials and case studies, right? Nonstop. You know, that undeniable proof of success will just get you so many book calls, especially towards the end. Because the funny thing about these farming stuff, you get a lot of initial book calls from the first couple emails and texts because like that's the most, the biggest push, right? But with success September, you get a lot throughout the middle and the end because they see so much undeniable success. Like they can't, you know, they can't, what do you call it? They can't, they can't just um, argue with it. So it's really cool. So you got Thanksgiving, Canadian, US. Um, and then I guess my favorite month is December. Hey, Mr. Prospect, you're going to pay your tax returns to Uncle Sam. Don't do that. That's dumb. Give me your money, right? Write it off as a business expense, education expense. Write it off and invest with us. It's the same thing, right? You don't, don't waste your money giving it to Uncle Sam. That works really well. I'm not an accountant. I'm not a you know, legal lawyer or whatever. So make sure you check if your accountant or your, your, um, your lawyer. But a lot of my clients, we do this. And it works great. It just works amazing, okay? So I hope this helps. Um, here's a pain script example. This is the nine word email, by the way. I will use it in a subject line. So just for Brian to know, this email, have you given up on a profitable online Fitbiz? Man, this thing, this thing crushes. I'll show you the, the next slide for the statistics, right? So take a screenshot of this. This is literally the copy that we use. You get, you guys are getting it for free, like just take it, right? But look at this. 15,000 dead emails, right? 15K dead? Have you given up? 18% open rate. That's insane on a dead list for a subject line, friends. Like the rest of our emails, you see, they're like 7, 9%, 10%, 8%. But like this thing got double. Yo, this nine word subject line, have you given up on growing your marketing business? Have you given up on losing weight? Have you given up on dating or whatever, getting married this year? Like if you're a relationship coach, right? Yo, this thing crushes, okay? Desire script. This is an example of desire. Do you want to make 300K this year, subject line? Now, I would say this is not the best subject line because it's a bit very biz -oppy, right? But the, what do you call it? The, the idea is the same. You embed a screenshot of a testimonial from a client here. Miles earned over 300K with our help, right? Hit reply. Look at the open rate. It's decent, right? It's less, and actually it's interesting. 6,000 leads, 8% open rate. I would argue though, if we actually ran 15,000 leads through this, this open rate would probably go up instead of going down. I think so, because like, because you look at the previous one, I think this is lower because we might have sent to a lot of dead leads that are even older. So when you add like 10,000 more emails that are more like recent, it's probably going to go up, right? So yeah, just, just consider that fact. And then lastly, education script. Are you afraid? Now, I wrote this copy myself, <laughs> the whole email. Um, it's basically talking about the reptilian brain that every human being, right? We have a reptilian brain. We, we are afraid to take risk. It's a long email. Take a screenshot. And then this is the second one. It's like, it's very long, okay? You can read this later. But basically, these are example content of pain, desire, education that you can send out to your leads, right? I'm just saying, you know, if you don't do anything in your life, that's bad, right? Reach out to us. Have Brandon Carter as your mentor. Great open rate. 9.4% on 6,000? Are you afraid? Three, three word subject line. I would argue again, if we put in 15,000, it'll probably go up to 15% open rate, probably, right? Cool. Um, let's recap and I'll give you all a gift, okay? So let's recap. Today we covered how sales farming adds a permanent new source of profits in your business. Literally, one thing I, I didn't mention, 
if you set this up one time, you will benefit from this for years to come. Because like, imagine, right? Like I set up 30 days and in like one, two, three, four, five years, 10 years in my business, I can literally run the same leads in that farming content because it's the same thing. You know what I'm saying? It's like the same exact thing. So I, it's such a good use of time for scale, right? It's such a good use of the time investment, right? In the beginning, how to combine sales and marketing to create omnipresence messaging to get the highest response rate. How do you do that? We cover that today, right? How we combine both. Um, how do we do basic lead scoring to segment leads, right? We talk about that and how we combine technology and human touch. So how we made that both happen and why new is always important. Lastly, I gave you 12 months for an annual content calendar. Okay, so the last thing I have for you all is asking you a few questions and give you a gift. Can you all let me know if a thumbs up? Did you learn something new today? At least one thing? Type in the chat. Yep. Good. I love it. Um, did you? I hope you give you some new ideas. Yeah. Anybody got some new ideas of what to implement? Cool. All right. Here's the final thing. Um, I got a gift for you. If you want nine more proven sales farming campaign, just scan this QR code and get it, right? Take this, uh, we're gonna email you right away nine farming, uh, farming templates you can install today. And all, of course, like tag me please on Instagram, give me a follow and also shout me out. And here's what I would ask. If when you implement this and you succeed and you get wins, please DM me your wins, right? And I like what Brian said too. Yeah, if you wanna, look, no, real talk. If you introduce me to your clients, you're going to get a juicy referral bonus, okay? Like, we're going to set everything up for them and we'll, we'll give you cash. Like, I'll literally PayPal or why I write you a check. So, if, again, DM me. Let me know. We can set this up. We do it done for you for clients, right? We do it for Peng Jun, big clients. So, you know, I promise we won't mess it up for your clients because I know how important your reputation is. When you make a referral, like, it's your reputation. So, I know you don't take that. We don't take that. Uh, we take that very seriously. Okay, so we really respect that. Cool. That's it for me. I'm going to leave this slide up and let's take some questions, Brian. Yeah, 100%. Dude, first of all, fucking, this was amazing. Thank you so much, Joel. I know everyone else is blown away just like I am. And yeah, that's my, that's my idea. I'm looking at Nick right now. I'm like, Nick, let's, let's get Joel immediately pushed on all of our clients. So guys, if you have questions, now's the time you can unmute yourself, ask Joel uh, while we have him. And again, let's uh, let's go from there. What can we send our clients to introduce them in the what in the best way? Oh, you can send it to um, I think more professionals, obviously, Joel at joey.com. Please, yeah. um, yeah, my email is great for that. Uh, IG blows up sometimes, so IG is fine, but I think in, I think email is the best. And my phone number, by the way, if you want to text me, this is my actual like cell. Um, just keep it to yourself. You can also do a group chat with my number 672 515 7776. I message, okay? It's a blue, it's a blue message. <laughs> it's not green. Okay, cool. How do you track conversions through this? Yeah, so we have, so we have like farming lead sources. So this is basically like a like a new lead source. So like for example, um, the deal we just closed yesterday with Brendan Carter. I'll show you all something. I'm glad you asked this question. I can actually show Brian this because like Brian's probably gonna be happy about it. J Y L closer. Oops, wrong, wrong, wrong. Okay, so like, do you see this right here? Do you see the, do you see this F dash E? This is farming dash Vichelle, farming dash Ethan. So this is Brandon Carter's like, right? Lead source and we close um, 8K paid in full from farming. Yeah, so does that answer your question? Who was so it it's something that? like on the, on the opt-in page that the farming AI gives them, it's like marked manually. Yeah, just, farming. yeah, just tag. You can tag them. You can, you know, use a lead source, a booking link. We set up a separate booking link. Okay. Yeah. So it probably makes it like a no brainer for clients. If you just set this up, like if you already had, let's say YouTube ads on the front end yep. and you just set them up for this on like a rev share, that's pretty big. No brainer for them. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you, man. Thank you. German clients, <laughs> German Spanish. Um, to be fair, we we have like we're gonna do a Chinese one. So I think it's worth making the intro anyways because like yesterday I presented to a group of uh, Brazilian Portuguese speaking clients, and if we can use GPT, we can hire copywriters. That will be yeah, that'll be pretty good. So yeah, just make the intro anyways. <laughs> yeah, just translate him for him from yeah. Julian. <laughs> <laughs> Any other questions? 
I, I, I have more time, Brian, too. I can stay on for a few minutes if you need. I have a question about the boat that you use inside of GoEye Level. Is it part of GoEye Level or are you using it with ChatGPT? I didn't quite get that. Yeah, so the AI bot is uh, one of the highest plans in GoEye Level that you could, you, could, you could install from GoEye Level. Yeah, SAS, SAS mode, 500 bucks a month. Yeah. If you use our CRM though, just so you know, I'm, I'm giving like a little quick pitch here, but like if you pay five, if you pay, if you pay Go High Low 500 bucks a month, you get the access. But if you pay us uh, 200 bucks a month, you get the same access, the AI bot too, the same thing. So we're like 300 bucks cheaper because we, we are a reseller for Go High Low. Yeah. You send out um, SMS, emails, voicemails every day for like 30 days in a row, 60 days in a row. How many? Like, yeah, how no, we have a very specific, like we, because we've done this for so many years, we know the cadence. So we have like very specific case. So like this why it's very hard to give you the cadence because every client's different, right? So the way they source their leads, like did they get Facebook ads? Is it like a challenge? Is it like a webinar? Is it like how we analyze the list? We do a drip, we do multiple drip tests and then we figure out for example, you could do 100 leads a day. You could do 1,000 leads a day. You could do um, voicemails, emails, texts. You could do emails only. And we also work with the clients because sometimes clients are like, Joel, don't be too aggressive. And we're like, okay. Then we scale it back down. So it really depends on the client, right? What would you do with you if you have phone number, freebie, report, webinar opt-ins uh, mainly on a, on a client? If we have... Wait, what do you mean? We have free lead? You mean webinar leads? Free, free opt-in leads? Yeah. So phone number, uh, we, have, we take phone numbers on the, on the web, live webinars and on the, free, on the report downloads. Like if they download just like a PDF or whatever yeah. with phone number. Yeah. Well, that's even that's 80%, great. You can run. Yeah, 80, you can run. 80% of our leads from our clients are mainly live webinar with phone number and uh, uh, PDF download uh, with phone number. That's perfect. Would you be... Right? Yeah, that's perfect. <laughs> so would you then send out immediately after the opt-in? Um, Especially on the PDF, would you send out ah, a voicemail, uh, SMS, uh, email, whatever? In that specific scenario, I would personally wait seven days to 14 days or maybe even five days. Then my first email would be, have you got a chance to read that PDF? And then I'll do a voicemail drop. Yo, Amy, this is Ashley from company name. We send you that PDF. You get a chance to read it? Let me know your thoughts. Want me, want you, or want another one? Right? Or want another free course? Like, dude, there's so many ways to be creative about this. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> this is, I, I can't teach you all that because it's just, you know, just creativeness, right? Yeah. Yeah, there's so many ways to skin this guy. Yeah. So Have you implemented? Uh, all right, Sorry? go ahead. Oh, you go. You go. It's fine. Yeah. No, so I, I do um, lead gen in Spanish here in the US. And so I use high level. I have all these flows and stuff, but I haven't been able to use the AI bot. It's all in English. I know you mentioned like the open AI HubSpot one too. Um, what does that look like price-wise? Probably a little more expensive. Uh, to be very honest with you, I have not used it on HubSpot, that, that specific bot. So you should check oh. it out. I just, like, I'm a HubSpot implementer. So like clients pay me to build a HubSpot, but we've never had to install the specific AI one. We just do regular workflows. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Just, yeah, I, I need to look scan at it. it. I'm gonna the, drop the, the, sorry, I'm going to drop that product hunt link product hunt link in the chat so you can just click on it uh, right now because I have the link to it. So yeah, this is it. For anyone interested in the HubSpot one. Do you, um, this is not a question regarding farming, but what's the best place to research or like I've been looking to improve the CRM system of our clients to make it more efficient and better for them to met. like, we have some clients that have like 20,000 leads, uh, eight, 10 setters. Yeah. And then it's like getting kind of inefficient and bad. Right. And like the CRM is just like so many people messed with it. So right. it's now pretty fucked. So what's the best way to learn how to set up the CRM better pretty much? Uh, I mean, I would set up, I mean, I honestly, is it go high level? Uh, it's HubSpot, mainly HubSpot or Close, pretty much. Okay, okay, yeah, man. I, I mean, like, okay, so that's the thing. Like, you could probably, I mean, what you could do is two ways. I mean, for yourself, if you want to know how to clean it, it's you have to learn, like, literally learn how to, like, reset everything. I would personally just hire an expert to just come in and, like, clean it for y'all. Because it's a lot, very time intensive. And then there's also the retraining piece, right? Like, setters, don't click that button. Don't insert that lead source. Don't, you know, don't skip that. Like, it's a lot of retraining, too. So you can either hire someone to do it or you can open up a new like 
HubSpot account, migrate everything over, which kind of sucks. So like the worst thing is when you go into a company and it's already a mess. That's really hard because then I'm like, we can't work off this thing. We're going to open a new thing. We're going to train all of you all on this new thing. Right. And so we have to do that. You know? Yeah. I, I don't, yeah. I, I don't know that helps, but. <laughs> how, how do you, um, well, let's say, where can I find the best structure for a CRM system in your, in your uh, opinion? That's actually a good question. I don't even think Cole Gordon or myself, I, I don't have like, because everyone is so different. I don't know whether any of us made a training on like best CRM structure. I, I, you could check Cole. Cole might have it. I know Jeremy Miner doesn't have that for sure. Um, I, 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 yeah, that's a, I probably will create that for my, my own products, I guess. <laughs> I, I just, you know, because like every it's, client is pretty different, custom. Man. Yeah. It's very custom. Yeah, That's kind of the problem. You need somebody to just like kind of focus on it and make that kind of their, their main focus. Cause if not, like, like you're, like you already said, like there's, there's, are we doing webinars? What do we have to give them? What are the offers that we can, do they have another free mini course that they can give? Like how many mini courses are there? Like there's, you know, you kind of, kind of have to collect all the variables and then from there create a strategy that you can then implement. Yeah, one thing it's just I, that. Sorry, Julian. One thing I would say, if you go and Google like go high level, because like, I really like go high level, right? You can tell I'm biased to go high level. There's a lot of good go high level tutorials on YouTube because if you start with clean go high level and you literally set everything up correctly from day one, tags, workflows, book a call rotated, right? And you just play that with like a few thousand leads, few hundred leads, you will kind of get a sense of what will be ideal. And then you basically tell all your clients to just follow you because you're the expert anyways. That's what we do all the time. Right. So like I would just start from go high level and learn learn from a basic like snapshot, a basic space. The thing is just I just don't find any CRM experts that have really like tried to analyze how to make everything efficient and uh con just like our conversion optimized and stuff. Me. <laughs> we only have German about. clients. <laughs> oh, the German oh, oh, it. it's it's go all German level. clients. So for example, like for me, go high level, HubSpot, and close.com we've done that system multiple times for clients from scratch build out. So like these three softwares, my team is, is proficient in. Yeah. That's <laughs> that, no, that's the mini subject. So if I want to know the best CRM system, I just go to you. I mean, that's one way like you could YouTube and learn it from scratch too, but like, well, well, I would who, have to, like, who should I, who should I learn it from? <laughs> I don't know anybody who's literally like a CRM expert. In the in hire, all of just, in hire, the, just hire just hire me man just make make the group email intro you know and we'll go from there. <laughs> can I just well the thing is that you probably won't set it up for them because they're all German clients but well but uh, yeah I mean yes and no right like you could still set up the structure and have them follow it but or alternatively I mean I guess we can teach you or train you or something I mean we can talk on the side for that like that's definitely more like custom thing you know <laughs> yeah that that's that's where I'm trying to go dear sure. <laughs> that's where I'm trying yeah, to just go. Text, just text just like me. All right. Yo, Danielle, what text do you get from me? It might be my team, honestly. <laughs> what what text do you get, Danielle? I, I didn't text you at all. I've been speaking this whole time. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what Daniel. Oh, yeah, there we go. That one. Exactly. That's our um, she got the free uh, gift. Cool. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Next couple of days, you all better swipe my copy. You guys gonna get calls from my team. You guys, <laughs> you guys yeah. Get, you know? yeah, I'm being I'm being straight up honest, right? Like we practice what we preach. So you can like literally watch and copy our templates to just like install it for your clients. You know what I'm saying? Like I would take it as a learning moment because it's like, it's, you know, it's free. Yeah. Cool. Any um final questions? Oh yeah. Last question. How do you balance like blasting all this stuff out with all the new leads coming in? You know, our setters have an issue sometimes with like, you know, you have your recent conversations on high level, you know, you're texting your new leads, but then I blast out a thousand texts and everything just gets all messed up. And yeah. our- we typically, like I showed you in the lead segmentation slide, we do it for leads that are no show and did not close. And then what we'll do is like, let's say my sales cycle is 30 days. Mm. Then I would just put everybody after 30 days into farming, right? Like, and also oh. I could do, I could also do um, in go high level. I can filter when was the last activity from the sales team. So anything greater than like 30 days, I can just send it to them because no one has talked to them for 30 days, you know? Yeah, makes sense. Rather than just blasting everyone. No, no, no. Don't blast them from day one. Like they'll get pissed. Just give them like 30 days. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Uh, That's key. 
Yeah, that's a good question though, because it's like, yeah, when do you interfere with like the new leads versus the uh, the old leads? Like when to put them into farming, and I think that that's good too. Again, it's kind of custom, right? You want to make sure that like when is a lead dead to you, but it's like looking at that sales cycle and being okay. The normal normally per- people close within the first week, and then we know then you know from there it kind of uh, yeah it kind it's of becomes a dead lead, if you will. Yeah, that's perfect. Analyze the sales cycle exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And it's, it's two different processes. So that way you have like the follow-up process with your sales team. So you're harping on the sales team saying, look, within the first 30 days that somebody is in this sales cycle, you need to be hitting them up and you'd be following up with them. You'd be having conversations, trying to start new conversations. And then after the 30 days, that's when you say, let's, let's get them on like kind of a reactivation campaign. So like now we're going to try to get them back with automation. Exactly. Yeah, so this is very important. Like you need to know what your client sales cycles are like. Otherwise you wouldn't know what's a new and what's an old lead, right? Like the biggest question that people have is like, how do you define a new and old lead? And I'm like, you would know that for your client. I wouldn't know that. You have to look at your client's yeah. like average sales, <laughs> like data, right? I, I, yeah, I'm not your client. So that's why it's different for every, different for every niche, different for every program. So, yeah. How, how are you balancing um, the like, newsletter emails or just like content emails oh, uh, after ooh. about 30 days great great question I, I forgot to touch on this so if you stayed on this is great for you i forgot to mention that when we do farming we are like a separate department to marketing so like you have the sales department and the marketing department right for companies we are like the mini sub of two but we sit on our own and what happens is we always check with marketing yo marketing show me a content calendar what are you sending out on which day then we tailor messages based on the content calendar. So we don't send conflicting information. And we can then like, for example, if marketing was like, this is our 10X conference event push month, then everything we do is like 10X, 10X, 10X. So we actually work with the newsletter team or copywriter. Does it make sense? Off the client. Yeah, so we don't send like random, like meaningless stuff that doesn't make sense, you know? So I'm glad you brought that question up. (laughs) Yeah, I forgot to mention that. Yeah, like I'm making farming a new department because that's the reality is marketing and sales cannot focus on the leads. That's the reality. Like they, I just not have not seen a sales team and even a marketing team. They can really focus down on farming. So like marketing is like a separate mark. Like, I mean, technically mark farming is a marketing department team, but we're like a subset branch on our own. That's like super focused every day on farming. It's a full-time job, friends. It's like a full-time thing. You set up all this stuff, right? Uh, and analyze and monitor and book calls, you know? I'll give you another example, another stat. If you have a client that has like over 100,000 leads, did you know you could literally, first of all, drip 100K throughout one year and then or six months and then go back to the first batch in month seven and like literally run that forever. And another fun fact is um, your clients where they can turn off their ad spend for one month completely. Let's say they book 500 calls a month, right? They can turn off ads for one month. We farm the whole list. We book even more than 500 calls. So imagine their profit margin during that month, how much it spiked because they don't spend ads. Because the volume is so large in the list that you could literally replace paid ads. It's like, dude, farming is like it, friends. I'm like, you can tell I'm passionate about it because like so many people are leaving this on the table because this is like a really enterprise thing. No one really does it in this niche, in the digital marketing world. It's huge. Anything else, friends? I think uh, we're good, Nick. Do you send uh, SMS emails to people that unsubscribe? Uh, good question. You're asking, you're asking the right questions, man. That's good. You, you're digging into this brain. Okay, so I will tell you the, um, I don't know what it is called, the legal answer versus the illegal. It's not illegal, I suppose. <laughs> okay, technically, you know, people say technically, if someone unsubscribed, like don't hit them up again, right? I, I don't believe that. Like what we'll do sometimes is like, it just depends. If the client allows us to do it, we will take all the unsubscribes, put them in a new system and then farm them. I mean, we make so much money off that, you know? <laughs> I mean, so it just depends on your client. You know what I'm saying? Like some of them don't want you to do that. Some of them want you to do that. It just depends. Yeah. What about increasing um, show up rates? Like also, is there any keys you add in there? Oh yeah. Voicemail drops, frick, like the voicemail drops that I did, you know, that, that automate that, that workflow, like no one, like no one does voicemail drops before an event. It's crazy. I know yeah. so few people that does do that. I'm like, just do it. You know, 
Mm. Yeah. yeah, so voicemail drop before an event, voicemail drop before a sales call. That's amazing too. Actually, you know what? I don't even see people doing voicemail drop before a sales call appointment. It's crazy. You can literally get your closer to record his voice one time, right? And then just drop it like three hours before the call starts. Psh, right? No one does this stuff, right? That's why farming is more than just dead leads. We do like, we'll do everything. We'll do new leads, dead leads, current leads, sales calls, webinar challenges, like the whole the whole nine yards, right? Yeah. Cool. Anything else, guys? Uh, I had a question. I lost. Awesome. Cool. Oh. Awesome. Um, it's in the black hole now. Question? question? Is there a question before? Yeah, I had a question. I had a question, but I lost it. But I think it was about the voicemail stuff. Um. Fuck. I like, no, nothing. Yeah, could, yeah. If, if 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 you take the unsubscribed emails, do you use a different domain, a different domain email to send then, so you don't hurt the the other domain with the deliverability, or what do you do? Good question. Yeah, this guy Julian's asking all the right questions here. <laughs> Julian's going to the castle. Okay, so yes, we actually always protect our client's main domain. So if you if let's say your your domain is adspend.com, we'll buy spend.io.co. whatever, right? We'll buy like 10 if we need to. And then we just run email through that. So we'll protect your main domain. You know what I'm saying? That's one way to do it too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then of, of course, like we'll warm it up, right? So then you use nail gun and go high level. And then you check, if you all check the Zoom chat, that's warmbox.ai, that's warm up inbox, right? As long as you buy it like before, oops, warm up inbox. And then you place it there for like a month. Everything's going to go to inbox, not spam or promotions. Even like two weeks. If you warm a cold domain up with a software, it will go to inbox in like a, a week or two. Do you do the same setup that you do in uh, Go High Level? And can you do the in HubSpot with voice drops and SMS and everything? I know the last time I checked, you can definitely do SMS and email. I don't know about voicemail drops. So you should check. That. You can just Google that. Um, it might be like a send an audio file. I, 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 yeah. We could probably just do a quick Google search. Can you do it in close? No. Um, Close can only do email and text. Do text you know another software? Text recently. Huh? Do you not do you know another software besides Go High Level? Honestly, honestly, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, Go High Level is so cheap that like every client will use it, you know? Like 97 bucks a month or like come on, it's like it's okay, like HubSpot. We used to pay HubSpot fifteen thousand dollars a month. It's crazy. It's cra like like I'm like, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm just like everyone who just go go high level. Yeah, it just can't beat the price. Close is more expensive too. Does the sales team also use Go High Level to call, or heck, do they use heck, Close and HubSpot to yeah, do the call? Yeah. Oh yeah, heck yeah, Go Go High Level through Lead Connector or through uh or through Twilio. Oh yeah. Um, oh, so, 0. So, 0. 001 cent per call, zero zero one cent per SMS, point zero 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 eight cents per email. Uh, so do you also have a power dialer and like list list segments and list systems yeah. and everything like Close so, and HubSpot? It's everything in Go. Okay, everything in HubSpot. And okay, then no one wants to want to say this. Okay, like I mean, Russell's inner circle, Russell Brunson. So, literally everything in ClickFunnels, Close, and HubSpot is all in Go High Level. Like, like I mean, I'm not joking. Like, <laughs> you can literally do everything in Go High Level, right? Jesus. I was I, I like I'm like yeah I'm just like I'm Go High Level. You know, sorry Russell, uh, I use ClickFunnels <laughs> to run check checkout pages to get this. That's it. <laughs> like you don't even bro, need to do that by the way. Yeah. You can literally just submit. They'll, they'll give you the award. True. true. Yeah, right. This really? is marketing for them. Yeah. Yeah. You just oh, need to I'm make in, a million I'm dollars. in the inner circle, so yeah. I, have to sh I have to show some revenue. <laughs> uh, yeah. You got to prove it. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Uh, but no, man, like I'm, I'm, I'm go high level. I'm go high level all the way. <laughs> 100%. So you, you have your phone numbers for your sales team. You have your sales team yep. user. And they can just call like in HubSpot or close the lists. And they can also like, because I know the SMS. Um, yeah, let me show you. Let me show you this, all. Man, this becomes like go high level training. Check it out. So this is my go high level, right? We go to contacts. All right. So contacts. Let's see, uh, Christina. You see this? You see mm -hmm. this call? Yeah. Hello, Christina. Hello. Yeah, like everything is here. Ah, uh, you also have co uh, uh, recorded voice, uh, recorded calls and everything. Yeah, I'm telling you, Go High Level is the goat. Y'all, y'all, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is 97 bucks a month. Like, 
why play close couple hundred bucks? Like I used to play close, I used to pay close like 1.5K a month for like six people. I used to pay HubSpot 15, we used to pay HubSpot 15K a month. It's crazy. I'm serious, like no joke. <laughs> What about the scam likely on high level sometimes with new numbers? How do you warm them up to make sure you don't get that? You get uh, A2P verification. Okay, that's the key. Then. And also you can do, I mean, phone number, honestly, with, um, oh, we use uh, Kixi, which is like Eloware. You know, oh, you know, local, like okay, so this, uh, here's another crazy thing. I, I mean, some of you know this, right? So we, we install local presence. Local presence, it basically, you know, Grant Cardone, when he calls you, it's freaking short from your city, right? It'll pick, you pick up the same thing. So we use local presence. So we'll call from your city. So you think it's somebody you know, and it switches all the time. So you can block, you can block me. <laughs> it's exactly oh. what Grant Cardone does. Yeah. You know, if that works in the German market or in the US. <laughs> no, I don't know about it. I'm sorry. I only know US market, man. Like, like, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I don't only got experience here. Yeah. yeah. That's why, that's why Uncle G's the goat. <laughs> he, he got those, he got those sales people on steroids. <laughs> with mm. local presence you know yeah yeah basically sounds like ghl is like kind of like i think you kind of explained it which is like kind of like the skeleton but then yes. you're able to add all these plugins to it that you can really customize to make it you know what you really want which is which is really cool yeah because G like hubspot they kind of just tried to build their own internal tools but G ghl was like what if we just allow everybody to connect in and then that way it just makes it a lot easier for you to build your own kind of thing. I'll give you an example. Like Peng Jun has, if you guys go to salesprocess.com, it's literally GHL. Like Frank Kern has a, has a GHL. But if you look at our GHL systems, they're all different. Because like we have customized our features and we resell it to our clients in a very different way. So it's all using GHL features, but you can like customize the heck out of it. And like make it so much more powerful based on your like basically your skill and experience, right? Like that's all it is. So then yeah. And what you need and what you want, right? Exactly. And what your clients need. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. All right. Friends, it's been a cool. pleasure. See you later. Bye-bye. Thanks. Thanks again, man.